Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I will be talking about XIR Photo and demonstrating how you can essentially embed your keywords into an XMP sidecar file, which can then be read by other applications. I did a video, which I'll link to there, about XIR Photo recently. And in that video, I demonstrated how it works, how it automatically uses AI to add keywords to your photos, and how you can do search and all these kind of cool things. So if you're not familiar with the product, that video will explain kind of what it does and why it's valuable. This video is diving in a little bit deeper to a specific subject within XIR, which, as I said, is having those keywords embedded into a sidecar file, which can be then read by other apps. The three different apps I'll show you today are DxO, Lightroom, and On1. But before we get started, I want to show you a very important setting in XIR. If you go to the File menu and then Preferences, click on the Metadata pane, and this very first setting here where it says Always Use Sidecar Files, there's a little tick mark over there. Do not check it. Leave it unchecked. Essentially, XR will always write to an XMP sidecar file with your keywords if it's a raw file. If it's another a different f file format like a JPEG, it will not do that if you leave this unchecked and you don't need it for JPEGs, for example. It will write those keywords into the header of the photo itself. So leave that one unchecked. Otherwise, you may run into some challenges, which is what I ran into. Now, what I want to do is show you in Lightroom, I've got this photo and that photo. As you look on the right-hand side, there are no keywords added. Same with on one, there's the photo, the keywords would be over here, there's nothing there, and on this photo, nothing there. And then for DxO, you can see this photo, the keywords would be right here on the right, and also for that photo, nothing is showing either. So what I want to do is go back to XR, I've got those two photos, and I also want to point out that if I go to Finder, here are my two files, there's the JPEG and there's the RAW file. You can see there's no sidecar files yet. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, if I click on these photos, you can see the keywords over here on the right. The ones in blue were added by XR, and the ones in gray, I added vintage to this camera photo. And to this photo from London, I added London. Everything in blue was added by XR. So what I want to do is highlight both photos, click on photo, and click on store metadata. It says, yes, uh, I want to do that, absolutely. And so now if I go to the finder window, you can see there's an XMP sidecar file for the raw file, but not for the JPEG. Again, that's totally okay. Now I'm gonna to go to DxO, and you'll notice there are keywords here. And they've actually, and I, I'll be uh, dead honest here, I don't really know why, but DxO seems to be picking them up automatically as soon as I create the sidecar file. Uh, the other apps on One and Lightroom aren't doing that. DxO for some reason is. I'm not super familiar with the library components of DxO, but if you look in each photo, you can see the specific and accurate keywords from XIR are added to these photos. If for some reason it doesn't, you could always go to the file menu and click on either sidecars import or metadata read. I believe it's metadata read, but you might want to be flexible there and maybe test both out. But regardless, DxO has picked up keywords for both of these automatically. Again, not sure why, but there they are. As you saw before, they were not included. Now let's go to Lightroom. I've got these two photos here in Lightroom. Again, no keywords. I'm going to highlight both. I'll click on metadata and read metadata from files. It asks me, do I want to read that? I'll say, yes, I do by clicking read. And as you can see, my keywords here are now added in Lightroom. There's that photo and there's that one. And so it's working uh, quite easily and quite well. And the last app is on one. And I've got two photos here with no keywords. I'm going to click shift and click both of them to highlight both. I'll go to photo and then read metadata from photo. It says, do you want to do this? I say yes. And you can see the keywords are over here on the right hand side. So there it is for that photo. And there it is for that photo, including the keywords that I added. I added vintage to this one and I added London to that one. So that's how it works. One thing to be aware of is that keyword hierarchies may not come over. And I asked XIR about this, and they basically said that each app interprets and reads data separately or differently based on their own kind of approach, and therefore key keyword hierarchies may not come over. You would essentially basically like this, get a flat alphabetical list of the keywords for each photo, but possibly not a hierarchy. So just be aware of that. But essentially, that's how it works in XR. Just embed the metadata, go to those various apps and read it, and there it is. That allows you to take advantage of the power of XR to sit on top of your photo folders, do the automatic keywording for you, and then go into those apps that you may use, read the keywords, and be able to use them to help you do searching, sorting, organizing, things like that. 
That's how it works, my friends. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, adios.